Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today we are comparing two awesome filter buses. We're going to play with Waffle Soul Spirit and we will put it against this. That's the Swarks Design Filter Basket. Dick painted to Carlo for sending us this basket to test to play with. So what we're going to do today as we normally do. I will quickly talk about those two baskets, similarities, differences. Then we're going to do taste test. I will attempt to do blind tasting. So there will be two cups on the rotating plate. Letter S is for Swarks Design and letter W would be for Waffle. We will also do a refractometer reading. Those are high extraction baskets. Which extraction will be higher? We will see. And by the end I will tell you which of those baskets is my favorite and why. As you can see I'm already excited. If you are as excited as myself definitely click like, sit tight and enjoy. Waffle So Spirit, you have seen this basket on my channel a lot. This is so far my favorite basket. I put it against plenty other baskets, high extraction, low extraction, medium extraction, and this was always the winner. The basket comes in that box, looks okay, weights 48 grams, and you can see the shape almost straight, but slightly more narrow to the end, made of stainless steel, 316 to be precise, it's non-magnetic. The number of holes, 2916, not sure if you are able to see it, they are spread evenly, all all the way to the edges. The holes are spread in a circular pattern. And the price of this basket, huge. It's $200. $200 for a bloody filter basket. I was so upset when I first bought it. I had to pay for a shipping. I have to pay for the duty cost. You can buy espresso machine for the price that I paid for this basket. But I have to say the results that I got from this basket, very good. Worth $200? Well, everybody has to decide for themselves. They say that the basket is expensive because the production cost are high, they use some special lasers to drill the holes through the basket and so on and so on. And now this, that's the Swarks Design High Flow Filter Basket. It also looks great, very shiny. It's pretty much almost straight all the way when you compare it with the Waffle Filter Basket. And because it's straight, it might be difficult to push it into the Porta Filter. Yes, it is a smaller basket, 14, 16 gram basket. I will be updosing it to 17 grams. I play with what I have. Another difference is that lip. You can see the lip on this one. It's kind of straight while this one is bended. Not sure which one is better to be honest. Let me know in the comments. This one is also made of steel but this one is made of 17.4 steel. According to what they say on the website, on the Swarks website, this is much better steel, much tougher steel, much more difficult to produce but also it does not deform under the pressure. It does not wobble at all. Because that 17.4 steel is harder, this basket does not have to be as thick. It weighs only 37.5 gram. Also has 3000 holes. The pattern of the holes is different. They also spread it all the way till the edges. This steel is also magnetic. So if you have any magnetic attachments to your porta filter filter baskets, this will work for you. The basket itself also costs 200. It comes in that nice awesome box. I have recorded a a short unboxing if you want to see. Both of those producers, they make all the baskets with the different patterns, different number of holes. If you want, you can check the websites. I cannot afford to buy any more expensive stuff. Talking about the expensive, you may think $200 for each of them. That's a lot. But the Swarks design on the website, it has a basket that it's much, much more expensive. Over $600 what? for the filter basket made out of titanium. Honestly, I'm not sure who would buy something like that. If you did and you want to send me one, yes please. Okay, so the introduction is over. Let's do the practical test. Let's have a look how the water flows without any coffee in. Maybe you will be able to spot some differences. And now it's time to drink some coffee. We're going to pull two sets of shots. For the first set of shots, I will do what I normally do, La Marzocco Liva style profile on decent. 17 grams of coffee in, 45 grams of liquid out. The coffee 
coffee that we're going to use today that's the artisan roast coffee roasters from scotland and the flavor notes bold raisins well that's my favorite kind of raisins fruit and caramel and this coffee has been stored in a whiskey barrel so that adds some complexity to the flavors one difference that you noticed here is that when i pull a shot with waffle it's not easy but i can get that one stream of coffee i can use waffle if i want to record the videos for tiktok or instagram yes i am on a tiktok and instagram with that swarks so far i haven't managed to put a one shot with the single stream of coffee and that's normal with those high flowing baskets that's normal that you will have multiple streams okay so the two shots are ready they took about uh, 34 seconds each i will choose one at random taste it choose another one taste it i will wash my mouth in between and then i will tell you my verdict Okay, been testing, tasting, and I have to say they are extremely similar. I mean, the flavor notes pretty much the same, so there is a sweetness like a caramel. There, is, there are some fruits in the background. If you concentrate hard enough, you can get that whiff of whiskey somewhere, somewhere there. The only difference really I can say is that this cup has a little bit more body. This cup, maybe because it's less body, the notes are slightly sharper, no more than 10% sharper. So difficult to say I cannot really declare a winner okay if I had to I would say this one I don't want to throw those shots away because I still have to do the refractometer reading so the cup with the sharper tasting notes is what is it it's waffle I went for the waffle some of the viewers said that I always go for the waffle no they don't pay me for the endorsement as I mentioned the Swarks design is the smaller basket not sure if you are aware but the space in between the shower screen and the coffee pack may influence the body of the coffee the less space you have the more body you get but how those expensive filter baskets how they compare with the cheaper ones well I'm glad that you asked I have a cup from Pullman filter basket 870 76 holes and there is a difference because i already know this coffee i'm waiting for that extra flavors and i'm not getting it there is that first hit that reminds me of those two shots but then there is nothing in the background i'm missing that depth i'm missing details i'm missing the sharpness of flavors so let's check the extraction i'm using this cheap di fluid refractometer and we have a result so waffle filter basket gave us 22 percent extraction swords design almost 21 percent extraction while Pullman also high extraction but slightly lower now we're going to do another set of espressos but this time we're going to pull a turbo shot in fact you know what let's pull a blooming turbo it will be more tricky <laughs> you see the profile on the screen now very distinctive lots of things going on here notice the drop of the temperature during the shot a very fast flowing shot high water flow and the pressure water pressure won't go over six bars here we also have a pause idea here is to end up with the water flow of about three and a half or more can be tricky to dial in I've made few changes to that profile we're going to use this plot coffee roasters very interesting coffee I normally use those coffees for my personal consumption well let's do it okay and the two shots are ready you could see the difference in the extraction waffle still there was that one single stream of coffee while swarks the coffee was was running from many different places we will see if and how this affects the taste it is a washed coffee but it tastes almost like a naturally processed both cups they taste like tropical fruit jam lots of interesting flavors i'm getting sourness pineapple the smell in this room it's unbelievable i'm getting extremely nice depth here it's almost like if i was chewing through that coffee going through the layers of flavors there is that slight bitterness in the background that spoils the shot slightly this cup that bitterness is almost non-existent i'm also getting all the interesting flavors more balanced the texture is slightly different difficult choice i don't know i like them both they both gave this coffee a justice so they showcase the flavor notes nicely if you are looking for a balance this one would be your shot but some Something is drawing me to this one it's a kind of a deeper sensory experience and therefore I'm choosing this one so the cup that I went for today is what is it Swarks
I mean, I wouldn't call it a winner and loser here, but it's the first time I'm not choosing Wafo in my tests. I won't be doing a Pullman shot with this coffee right now, and the reason is it's so good, I just want to enjoy it myself. Let's see the refractometer readings. And here, surprisingly, Wafo, 21.5% extraction, and Swarks, it's 22.5%. So this time it actually Swarks that one. I mean, yes, refractometer readings, 1%, that, that does not mean much. It could be within the margin of error. My refractometer readings, by the way, we would expect a little bit more. And I might be wrong, it might be just a coincidence, but I've noticed since I changed the water distribution plate on my descent, instead of getting more extraction, it looks like I'm getting slightly less extraction. But that's a side note, there is a video about it. So guys, if you are still here, definitely click like, subscribe to the channel, plenty more things coming. Big thank you to Carlo again for sending us this works basket, I will be sending it back to him. My final conclusion here. I tell you something, when I first got this basket I pulled a few shots and I thought my god those are terrible. If you own any of those baskets but especially that Swarks basket it's very easy to over extract. Wafo can also over extract but maybe because I'm more familiar with this basket I know how to push it. Those high flow baskets are for those who are chasing nuances in a light roast coffee. If that's you then you should consider one. They change a lot. They add extra layers of flavors, extra depth, extra sharpness of the flavors. For those who have high extraction grinders, high flowing basket is a must. Often people are looking for a new espresso machine to buy and they think that it will change a lot and possibly it would, but changing a simple thing like a filter basket can change so much more. Do you have to buy Wafo or Swarks? No, there are all the very good high flowing, high extraction baskets. My few recommendations, EA and be all-in-one filter basket, mischief filter basket, pedantry coffee lab, also a high scorer in my test. I have videos about all of them. Now, if you want to choose between Wafo and the Swarks, well, in terms of taste, both of them would satisfy you. Swarks basket seems to be of the better quality, although I'm not an engineer, I know nothing about metals, so I can only read what they say on the websites. I really, really like this Swarks for those fast shots, turbo, turbo bloom, even regular regular shots but run really fast. For regular shot, Wafo gave me today slightly more. They were still very similar, the flavor notes very similar. In the comments, please let me know what is your favorite filter basket and why. If you would like to send me something for the test, like Halo did, yes please, maybe not things that can get damaged in a transit. I would love to try 83mm multi-purpose bursts and I cannot afford them. But for today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jack, this is my coffee show and hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you, bye!